Hi, I'm Lorraine Dahlmeyer and I'm the Director of Formula Botanica, the number one online international organic cosmetic science school. And in this video series, I'm talking to you about my 23 steps to launching your natural and organic skincare business. Now today's step is step number 20. We're doing well, we're almost at the end. And it's all about getting organic certification. Now, this really depends on you and your ethos and your business model and the amount of money you have and your target customer and the brand you've built. But if you feel that it's right for you, then you should go for organic certification. There are lots of different bodies that will certify you all around the world. You've got Cosmos, you've got EcoCert, you've got Natru, you've got the USDA Organic Programme, there's one in Australia, there's the Soil Association in the UK, there's different ones throughout Europe. You can find the one that works for you. All of these certification bodies have different requirements as well, so it's worth researching the ones that really resonate with you. They will often require you to have specific ingredients. They will require you to have diff uh, specific uh, manufacturing methods, different preservatives, very specific preservatives often. They will even require you to have specific packaging. So it has a knock-on effect on everything you do. And it's often worth considering quite early on in the, in the process. It can also be expensive. You're probably looking, in the EU at least, at around about... 1,000, 1,500 euros before you have your organic skincare products licensed and certified. And not all small businesses can afford this. But on the other hand, you might wish to pass that cost on to your customer. So think about embedding that into your overall cost price, something that we discussed earlier on in all of the steps that we've covered so far. So organic certification, if it works for you and if it works for your target customer, go for it. There are other types of certification as well, natural certification, vegan certification, all different types of certification. So find the right one for you and find what makes your brand even stronger through it. But you don't have to do it. Don't feel pressured by all of these certification bodies out there. Just find what is right for you and you'll be able to build a strong brand through that. I hope you enjoyed this step, step number 20 and uh, join me tomorrow for step number 21 we're almost at the end and if you're watching this anywhere other than formula botanica's blog head on over to formulabotanica.com and come and check out everything that we have to offer